Hello everyone, my name is Felia Tifat Marama and this is my first podcast so in this podcast I will tell you about the story about Little Red Riding Hood you know the story right? so let's begin once for a time there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak, so everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother as it had been a while since they had seen each other. That's a good idea, her mother said. So they picked a nice basket for Little Red Riding Hood to take to her grandmother. When the basket was ready, the little girl put on her red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, go straight to grandma's house. Her mother called she had done down along the way and please don't talk to strangers. The woods are dangerous. Don't worry, mommy. Little Red Riding Hood, I will be careful. But when Little Red Riding Hood noticed some lovely flower in the woods, she forgot her promise to her mother. She picked a few, watched the butterflies flit about for a while, listened to the frogs croaking, and then picked a few more. Little Red Riding Hood was enjoying the warm summer day so much that she didn't notice a dark shadow approaching out of the forest behind her. Suddenly, the wolf appeared beside her. What are you doing out here, little girl? The wolf asked in a voice as friendly as he called Master. I'm on my way to see my grandma who lived through the forest near the brook. Little Red Riding Hood replied. Then she realized how late she was and quickly exited herself, rushing down the path to her grandma's house. The wolf in the meantime took a shortcut. The wolf, a little out of breath from running, arrived at grandma's and knocked lightly at the door. Oh, thanks goddess, dear. Come in, come in. I was worried sick that something had happened to you in the forest, said Grandma, thinking that the, the knock was her grandfather. The wolf let himself in. Poor Granny did not have time to say another word before the wolf gobbled her up. The wolf let out a satisfied rope and then pocket through Granny's wardrobe to find a night bone that he liked. He added a fairly sleeping cap and for good measure, dabbled some of Granny's perfume behind his pointy ears. A few minutes later, Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. The wolf jumped in the bed and put the covers over his nose. Who is it? He called in a cold voice. It's me, the little Red Riding Hood. Oh, how lovely. Do come in, my dear, croaked the floor, the wolf. When Little Red Riding Hood entered the little cottage, she could scarcely recognize her grandmother. Grandmother, your voice sounds so old. Is something better? She asked. Oh, I just have a touch of a cold, from the wolf, adding a chaw, a cock at the end to prove the point. But grandmother, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood as she edged closer to the bed. The better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf. But grandmother, what big eyes you have, said the Little Red Riding Hood. The better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf. But grandmother, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. Her voice quivering slightly. The better to eat you with, my dear. Roar, roared the wolf as he leaped out of the bed 
and begin to chase the little girl. I must too late, little red fairy who realized that the person in the bag was not her grandmother, but a hungry wolf. She ran across the room and threw the door shouting, Help! Wolf! As loud as it called. Old man was chopping logs Larby heard her cry and ran toward the cottage as fast as he could. He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out the poor grandmother who was a bit frazzled by the whole experience, but still in one piece. Oh, grandma, I was so scared, so I told her I will never speak to strangers or Taolo in the forest again. There, there, child, you have to learn important reason. Think, goddess, you shall be loud enough to, for this kind of woodsman to hear you. A woodsman who was choked. The woodsman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep in the forest, where we, where he wouldn't bother people any longer. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother had a nice lunch and lunch. So that's the end of the story. Uh, the end of this podcast. I mean, I'm sorry for the mistakes, and I hope you enjoy this podcast. Thank you. Bye.